Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 30, the screencast that rarely uses star when importing. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about packages, importing star. So if you remember from our fibo.py, there's a couple of uh, functions in here, fib, fib2, and when we imported we could say from fibo import star, and that would take all of the functions that were in there, fib and fib2, and then we could just call them directly. They're right into our, our interactive namespace here, fib100. So how do we do the same sort of thing for packages? So we have our sound effects, effects sub package, and we had echo, reverse, and surround. Let's say we wanted to import all of those. Hopefully we should be able to say from sound.effects import star. Unfortunately this doesn't do what we would hope it does. Uh, what Python requires is that you have a variable in your underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi that defines all of the modules that will get included when you type from sound.effects import star. So let's take a look at that. Uh, the reason they do this is because older file systems, the old DOS 8.3, Windows 95, uh, some, some Mac OS, uh, actually didn't guarantee case sensitivity. So if you imported echo or surround, it wouldn't know uh, whether you were wanted it to be imported as echo or echo or echo, right? So all you have to do is it puts the onus on the author of the, the package, but you just keep this maintained, all equals, and this is a list variable, uh, and then we'll just put echo and, and surround and reverse in here. Okay, and then when we go ahead and say from uh, from sound.effects import star, it will work as expected. Hop into IPython here, from sound.effects import star. Okay, and as you see, echo, uh, reverse, and surround are all right there uh, accessible to us. Uh, one thing to note is that if you didn't have uh, the underscore underscore all underscore underscore variable defined, uh, you can still type from sound.effects import star, but it won't do what you think. Um, so let's exit out of here. Go into init, let's can that. Hop back into IPython. Okay, so we'll say import sound.effects.echo as we did before, and then we'll do surround. You see that we've, you see, you only see sound as the module in here, but if I said, um, this is what's great about IPython, you can say sound dot, and then you can tab it out, and you see that the only thing that's available here is effects. So uh, filters and formats, they're not in there effects, and then you can see that there's uh, echo and surround are the only things that, that we've actually pulled in. I just did that by, by hitting tab. The underscore underscore um, functions you can, you can ignore for now. So we've just done those two imports directly of the modules echo and surround, but now if we say from sound.effects import star. And remember, we got rid of the underscore underscore all. What this actually would do, notice nothing new got included in here. We just have our echo, we have the sound from before, and we have um, surround. Uh, nothing new was added in, and uh, the reason is that we didn't have the underscore underscore all, but uh, this would have actually, it, it, we didn't get any sort of error, any sort of trace back. Uh, it took our from sound.effects import star. Uh, that's valid because it would be a way of calling other initialization that, that occurred within uh, the underscore underscore init.py within that package. 
That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.